Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins on the Marvel DC Multiverse. We are now at episode 332, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is Mahershala Ali opens up about Blade's MCU debut and future. So Blade star Mahershala Ali has opened up about his first introduction into the MCU and the end credits uh, stinger of Eternals. Blade is an upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe film that will follow the half-vampire uh, hunter, and half-human, of course. Um, but yeah, the half-vampire hunter, half-human, or, you know, sorry. The, just, I'm just going to just follow the vampire hunter, or the hybrid, um, <clears throat> who first appeared on screen to play, you know, who first appeared on screen by, you know, played by, of course, Wesley Snipes in a trilogy of movies that began in 1998. That trilogy was also followed by a short-lived television series starring rapper, St rapper Sticky Fingers. Um, the new project will be a complete overhaul of that continuity. The two-time Oscar winner Mahershala Ali stepped into the title role. So, um, in the end, credits of Eternal it was teased that Kit Harrington's character, Dane Whitman, um, the eternal source, uh, Cersei's human love interest, uh, would be embracing his comic book mantle of Black Knight. Um, the scene shows him trying to pluck up the courage to handle the cursed sword, the ebony blade. That is his family's legacy. However, Whitman... Uh, does this only to, to be interrupted by a voice in the room behind him. It was quickly confirmed that by director Chloe Zhao that the voice belonged to Mahershala Ali's Blade, a character who is frequently connected to Black Knight in the comics. So speaking with Empire, Ali opened up uh, about his uh, experience performing the character for the first time in a recording booth rather than in front of a camera. And he said, and I quote, it was scary. Um, it brought up, sorry, brought up some um, real anxieties, end quote. So due to the fact that the Blade film hasn't begun production, and so he's very early in the process of developing the character. Nevertheless, he described the process as, as and I quote, really good saying that he enjoyed his little introduction to the massive world of Marvel and he's excited to get going and do more. He also said, and I quote, uh, it was very cool um, getting to do that. It was scary because you know, you're take, you know you're talking before you're filming it. I'm pretty particular about my choices like most actors and so, having to make some choices, even with a line, vocally, this early on. Uh, it brought up some very real anxieties, and it made the job real. It's like, okay, this is happening now, you know, and that's exciting. Um, that Marvel world is obviously the biggest in the film. And, uh, just to get my little introduction to that, Starring with the comic book, sorry, starting with the Comic Con uh, a couple of years ago, and now uh, the very early stages of stepping into the shoes of that character, it felt special and really cool. I'm excited to get uh, going and do more. End quote. So, Blade is set to be directed by Bassam Tariq, um, who previously helmed the uh, Riz Hammett. Riz Ahmed, Ahmed film, um, Mongol Mowgli. Um, he'll be working from a script by uh, playwright Stacy Osai Kafour, I guess, as a, however you pronounce her name, um, who has who has previously written for HBO's Watchmen, another project uh, foregrounding black uh, superheroes, of course. Um, and the, of course the, bro the project which is slated for the future phase of the MCU likely in phase 5 
is expected to begin production in Georgia in July uh, 2022. Ali has proven himself time and time, sorry, time and time again as a uh, versatile and talented actor. So it will clearly, sorry, it will certainly be interesting to see what he does with Blade. Um, it's, it is, uh, the rare MCU project that has to compete with a previous live action portrayal of the character by another iconic actor. So far, only Tom Holland's Spider-Man films have faced the same issue. However, if anyone can honor the legacy of Wesley Snipes while carving out his own version of the character, it's certainly a talent like Ali. So, I wouldn't, well, as far as the voice goes, but everything else, I probably wouldn't, I don't think he could do. I mean, he has the voice, no doubt, um, the personality, but as far as, like, the physique and the background of hand-to-hand combat, or, well, the background of martial arts, rather, he ain't got that. Wesley Snipes, not only did he have the talent and the physique, he also had a background in martial arts. That's why he was able to play the role per- perfectly. Her- Hersha- I mean, Hersha Lee does not have a background in martial arts, so I don't know how he's going to be able to pull it off. But I guess we're going to see. So, anyway, um, here's a reminder of the upcoming Marvel, fi- uh, upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, the release date for that's going to be uh, December uh, 17, 2021 Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness May 6, uh, 2022 Thor Love and Thunder July 8, 2022 Black Panther Wakanda Forever November 11, 2022 uh, The Marvels February 17, 2023 Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania July 28, 2023 Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, May 5th of uh, 2023. So that concludes this um, topic. Feel free to visit us and like us on Facebook. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and of course YouTube.